Hello good day viewers, still on coordinate geometry, here is our problem for today. The tangent to the cycle x plus 4 whole squared plus y minus 1 whole squared equal to 242 at a point where x is 7 and y is negative 10 meets y axis at s and x axis at t. We are asked to find the coordinates of s and t. We are also asked to find the area of o s t where o is the origin all right let's get started first of all you should take note of this point this point where x is positive and y is negative is in the fourth quadrant right so if we have y axis like this and x axis like this we are interested in this region so we're going to draw our cycle here so the tangent to this cycle cut y-axis and x-axis. So now let us draw a tangent. So this is the tangent to our cycle. I remember that at this point, that is the point of contact, we have x to be 7 at that point and y to be negative 10. All right. And what is the center of this cycle? The center of this cycle will be negative 4 and positive 1. Remember, you're going to set them to be equal to 0 and solve for x and y. Therefore, the center of this cycle is at negative 4, comma, positive 1. All right. Now let us draw a radius. This is the radius of this cycle. And we have point S here and we have point T right here. And we have the origin right here. In order to find these two coordinates, first of all, we need to find the equation of that line, which is this line. Let me call it line L. So what is the relationship between the radius and tangent line? Their respective slopes are just the negative reciprocal of each other, right? So what is the slope of the radius? Slope of the radius. It is going to give us y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So we can take negative 10 here and subtract positive 1. We divide by 7 minus negative 4. We simplify and obtain the slope. To the top, we have negative 10, negative 11, sorry. To the bottom, we have 7 minus minus 4 is what? Plus 4, which is also positive 11. This is going to give us negative 1. So if the slope of the radius is negative 1, the slope of the tangent line will be what? The negative reciprocal of that negative 1. And the reciprocal of negative 1 is still negative 1. Negative of that will be positive. Therefore, slope of the tangent line, which I call L, will be equal to positive 1. And how can we find it equation? It is going to be y minus y1 equal to m multiplied by x minus x1. This is y minus, what is y at that point? At this point, y is what? Negative 10. So we have negative 10. Let me even write the point here at 7 comma negative 10 so we have x to be equal to 7 and y equal to negative 10 and this is equal to m which is our slope is 1 right here so we have 1 multiplied by x minus 7 y minus minus 10 is y plus 10 and this is equal to x minus 7 if you multiply by 1 Take this to the other side, it becomes negative. We have y equal to x minus 17 because negative 7, negative 10 is negative 17. And hence, this is the equation of the tangent line. But remember that we are told that the line cut y axis at s and x axis at what? t. So, what do you know about s and t? t is x intercept, that is the value of x when y is 0. And S is Y-intercept, exactly where X is equal to 0. So let's find X-intercept and Y-intercept. Let me start with Y-intercept. Y-intercept is when X is equal to 0. 
So this is y equal to 0 minus 17. And hence y will be equal to a negative 17. So you can see that y intercept is at when x is 0 and y is what negative 17. So this is our y intercept. Then x intercept, we have x intercept. That is when y is 0. So we have 0 equal to x minus 17, right? Minus 17. Take negative 17 to the other side. We have x equal to positive 17. And hence, x intercept is 17. At a point where x is 17 and y is 0. So we have our x intercepts. So now let us level it here. We have this point to be 17, 0. And we have this point to be 0, negative 17. So we asked to find the area. This is the first question, right? We have answered the first question already. Then the second question, we are asked to find the area of this region. OST. Which is a triangle, right? And the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. And you can see both the height and the base are equal because the distance from the origin down to S is 17. We are not going to consider it as negative 17, rather positive 17 because we are talking about distance. Likewise, this is 17. So we have half multiplied by 17 multiplied by 17. So the B part, the area of the triangle OST will be equal to half the base times the height, right? And this is equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 17 multiplied by 17 again. This is equal to half multiplied by 289 because 17 times 17 is 289. If you divide that by 2, you're going to have 144, 144.5. What is the unit? We don't know, so we call it unit squared. So this is the area of that triangle. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.